Zero, zero. Play ball. Okay, folks, welcome to Kingsford for the Onions Ireland uh, Football Festival of Handball Minor and Senior Finals. We're just getting underway here. Side away. We're from Owen McGinty. It's Paul Fitzpatrick here. I'm joined by Gavin Buggy. Gavin, zero, congratulations on your win, zero. first of all, yesterday in the over 35 AL Ireland final. Side away. No score. Point one zero, and we're gonna we're in for another fantastic game here as well. I, I'd imagine it's, it's a real clash of styles. I, I would know I would know Owen McGinty side away, well, um, being a being a neighbouring county here in Monaghan, and I've I've seen him up close in training. Zero one, just how good he is. He's very you'll see Gavin. He's, his court savvy is excellent. He's very fast, very athletic, and he's got a great spin serve. Point. Mark Rogers, I played against him last year. He's very powerful. One serves one. Fantastic athlete. He recently scored one thirteen for his club in the in the Clare Division One um, hurling under twenty one championship, which will tell you what what a good hurler he is. Fantastic sportsman. So I think we're in for a clash of styles here and a very interesting game. Point. Two serves one. Showing signs of nerves here early on as, as Rogers moves into it. To a three serves off one. Ner Sorry, three in the lead, but, but uh, nerves are always going to be a factor here in, in minor play. It's interesting that, that Mark is going with the lobster of Gavin here earlier on. I would have thought, having seen him playing, he's such a physically imposing player that he can hit the ball very hard. You would have thought he might have started off with a, with a power serve. Side away. One serves three. <laughs> short ball. One agrees, one disagrees. Short ball, second serve. <laughs> yeah, of course, they, they played... Uh, they played in the semi-final of the Irish under 17 Nationals last year and that was a 11-7 win in a tiebreaker for, for McGinnity so 2-3 um, two, two, here 2 serves 3 Gavin and I'd say the viewers at home will see it there's a lot of trick shots in his locker you'll see the spin serves he can flick the ball behind his back quite a spectacular player to watch and he's got some unorthodox shots probably one more shots I'd call them good call thank you Point. Together, three. Short ball. Yeah, yeah. Second serve. He does, yeah, he does. Oh, just, just about cut over the line there. It was almost a, sec a second short ball. Again, he's starting to settle here. Interesting to see the power of Rogers when he, when he gets going and gets planting his feet and hitting that ball hard. Oh, brilliant, brilliant return there by Rogers, and he's back on his feet, and he has it again. This is a, this is a fantastic rally. Brilliant rally. You can see the athleticism of this young fella straight Point. away, diving around the alley and back to his feet. You can see his Four, how he's holding his legs. Three. You can see he's, he's like a grown man. Point. Five serves three. Three really McGinty has settled down now, Gavin. Short. Second serve. Chance for Rogers. Oh, a hand error. Point. Was clicking there. Maybe it put him off. These are the little things that might catch a player out Six, on the big day. Six, three. Just, uh, you know, you've got the camera and the crowd. Point. Serve. 
That's what we talked about, the spin serve he's got, and he can actually hop the ball both ways, which is a huge weapon at, at their edge. Seven, serve three. Point, timeout called, eight, three. Thirty seconds. McGinty, as you said, he's one of these confident types of players, and if he can, if he can get his confidence up early, I see his dad Eugene in the court here speaking to him. If he can get his confidence yeah. up early, it's a very dangerous opponent. Yeah, like he beat some good players in that. He beat James Gavigan, okay, who's a very good junior player, um, and had won the B singles up at the Golden Gloves before Christmas. He beat him pretty comfortably in that in that competition as well. If you look at Gavin Coyle, is after winning the Junior B and Junior A and under 21 All Irelands in the last three years, so he's a hell of a player. Yeah, the problem what happened to him was he was actually carried an injury into the semi-finals. He probably would have. A lot of people would have fancied him to go on and maybe win that competition. So it goes to show that the standard McGinty is playing at. Is there anybody trying to keep up to date with the ladies minor? It's Leah Doyle is out in the early lead. Eight players won against me. Edmund in court number two. Chance for Rogers. Side away. That's a poor hand error by McGinty. From watching McGinty in training, what Three, I've noticed is he tends to go for the right corner a lot. And that's... He, he can consistently kill there, but uh, when it comes to a high, the highest Point. level, that could be a weakness. It's a little bit predictable. Four, serves eight. Four, eight. Some, another soft point there for Mark, but, but hand over by, by Owen. And a beautiful little touch in the right corner as well. And Rogers, he, he's, he's settled back into it here. Five, serves eight. Right corner. That's, that's that shot I'm talking about. He's very consistent in that right corner. He, he goes off the right side wall and the natural spin brings it in and it dies. It's an excellent, eight, uh, excellent shot. Five. Another very sporting call by, by Rogers. He's already made two or three of those. Nine says five. This time, he, this time he hooks it the opposite way and finds the right corner. Point. Ten says five. Short. It's 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 interesting to see what, the, the way he strikes the ball for that for that spin serve. It's a very slow swing. Second serve. Gets lots of contact on the ball. I'm just trying to see can I read it. Point. 11 serves 5. Right corner's open. There is a big crowd. But some very, from some very, um, some very appealing matches on the card. Both Side minor out. finals are, are worth travelling to see. And then your ladies' final, of course, the biggest rivalry in the sport at present. And then the men's final. Five serves Nash 11. going for his fourth and McCarthy looking for his fourth. Serve. 5-11. Do when do you think Mark Rogers is going to maybe look to change this serve, Gavin? Seems to have started very calmly. Really. Obviously, has a huge amount of belief. Point. 6-11 probably deems it to be close enough. 6. Serves 11. I think he's got the chance to tackle the moment. Yeah, there was a soft sort of an overhand return without much six. real purpose to it there. Screen Owen. Um, two serves at screen, okay? Yeah, two serves. 
Good call by the referee. Wasn't afraid to make it. Again, that's these unorthodox shots, I was telling you about these sort of one-ball shots. I've seen him hit these overhand Six. fist oh, shots a lot. But I'd like to see Mark planting his feet and hitting the ball a little bit harder. You'd imagine he would have, looking at the physique of the two lads, you'd imagine he probably has an advantage in power. Okay, six serving 11. Physical attributes that Mark is definitely far stronger. Mulness, as they say. Lovely shot from McGinty. But obviously, his game plan, he's come out and he's stuck to it rigidly at the start of the game, so he's. 11 serve six. He steadfastly kept that log. It's interesting in the in the in the match program, Gavin. Six, Mark eleven. Rogers has asked what's his favourite shot, and he says fly kill. And six eleven. We haven't seen any fly kills yet, but maybe he's going to look to get in and exploit exploit that. Oh, that's a nice shot. Beautiful shot. Point. Really, I don't think there's. There's a huge amount between them, but Seven, Ro Rogers just hasn't 11. really clicked yet. Nice shot by by Ol McGinty. For, for Mark Rogers to, to beat um, Josh Kavanagh in straight games, under ten of both games, I think that was a hell of a win, wasn't it, in the semi-final? 11 uh, serve 7. I know that the home advantage was probably Short a ball. huge factor as well. Yeah. And maybe Mark is probably, is he more advanced as a sportsman? Probably if he's hard at under 21, but I'd say certainly yes. He had the added advantage of winning the minor doubles last year. Point. Um, and physically, he's 12, uh, 7. He's a very strong individual, so maybe. No point. You know, when you add everything together, it wasn't that much of a surprise. Really. Okay, because he's a year older, seven. I think. Right saying that. Yeah. Oh, oh, what a game. Fantastic game. Right you shouldn't have to be killing this. Back into the play, which is unusual. Rather seems to be playing a game of cat and mouse with all. Like one is going for the bottom, every opportunity he gets, like Mark seems to be doing a lot of retrieving, bringing the ball back out. Yeah. Again, he looks out, he gives a little grin. He's happy with that one. Yeah, Mark's a little bit passive at the moment. He needs to force the issue a little bit. I would personally like to see him go to a hard serve. serve get into seven. the frame of mind of hitting the ball hard. Oh, that's a beautiful serve. Point. Time out calls. Everything's going to plan for Owen McGinty here. Yeah, obviously, Mark has, has decided to come with a set game plan. Uh, he's rigidly it's stuck 15, to yeah. it. But <laughs> I, I think at this stage now, he. Time in. The first game was kind of slipping away from him that he should maybe try and play, play a more decisive type of a game. Mark, time in. Yeah, I'd like. He has declined a number of. Lads, it's time in. He's it's warned at the start. Yeah, what's interesting that Jeremy Nash asked in the in the program about his philosophy. He said you've you've got to risk something if you if you want to win, and that means going for kill shots. And, and that's something that 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 Mark Rogers hasn't been doing here, but Home again. he has. So let's just see will there be any change here. Fifteen seven. Point. 16 serve 7. <laughs> 7 serve 16. Sorry for a few technical difficulties there, folks, but I think our mics should be working again here. 
seven sixteen. I'm not sure one of the mic microphones were told wasn't picking up audio there, so hopefully we're, we're right now. Lovely shot by Mark Rogers. And that's the first time we've seen him really just put that extra little bit of pop on the ball, which I think he eight, needs to do if he's going 16. to claw this back at 8.16. Yeah. I look, check my phone there and half the countries that are telling me they can't hear us talking, but apologies for that. Um, technical difficulties. Um, that one looks to be... I won't say in an unassailable position, but he's well in the ascendancy in the first game, 16-8. Mark has kind of stuck to a, a game plan, and it's a little bit conservative, so he has a bit of catching up to do. Yeah, as we were saying earlier, um, possibly people might have heard us. But I, I was making the point that Mark's been a little bit passive. He's going with this lob serve. He's sticking rigidly, as you said, Gavin, to his game plan. But... Oh, McGinley has just been taking these chances again. A passive, a passive sort, sort of a shot by, by Mark. Nerves, I'd say, are a factor here. Even though he won a minor doubles medal last year, he just, just hasn't Eight, 16. just got rid of those butterflies yet, I would imagine. 8-16, he's gone back to the lob. I do think it's time maybe for a change there. Get into the mindset of using his power, because there's no doubt that he has it. There's glorious. This, oh. Side of it. I think the first kill that he really went for, he skipped it in. Which is not going to do a whole lot for his confidence. So Owen serves at 16 eight, and he has a set up off the back wall. And that brings him to 17. That's a tall order for Mark now in the first game. He's looking for the floor to be dried. So. Yeah, 17 eight. If you're just joining us in the ladies game, Leah Doyle is beating Neve Heffernan in 17 5, which would be. Slight upset there because um, Leah is the champion, but um, Neve, of course, did beat her in the Worlds last year and in the Irish Junior National. So, two great rivals coming up there, Kildare and Galway. Back here with Flores being dried at 16 8 to Owen McGinty, trying to win a first ever minor singles in the 40 20 court for Monaghan, which would be a fantastic achievement for a man who's had a very good, a young man who's had a very, very good. 17, uh, says 8. 18. Yeah, Sean Kerr, the last also player to, to win this title, which is there's McGinty. We talked about it earlier on, Gavin, these trick shots, he's known for them. Ah, that's a beautiful shot. Point. Gives a little look out to the crowd, a little smile, he's feeling confident here. Rogers needs to just ruffle things up a bit. Start hitting the ball hard and just make things a little bit more difficult for McGinty. There's a chance. Some fantastic retrieving going on here. <laughs> oh god, through the legs, another trick shot from Owen. A little bit of controversy in the ladies' minor singles. I don't know, there's some dispute over the sharp baller. Side away. 8 17 18. 5 to Leah Doyle in the ladies' minor. Just try and keep tabs on that feet. Um, we're a little bit inconvenienced by the microphones, but another hand error from Mark Rogers. Side out. As Owen goes back in at 17. 18, serves 8. 18, I beg your pardon. Good serve. He's played a more attacking game in the first game, and that's why he's well in control. He keeps it up on the roof. Mark will have to go back to the roof. There's one thing for certain, if Owen gets half the opportunity, he'll go for the bottom of the wall. Mark has been very conservative in his play. He puts it back around again. Oh, tried to go in under it. Right in an uncompromising position and missed it, so it's handout. Yeah, as we were saying earlier on, I'm not sure if people were picking us up, but um, Mark asked in the match programme what his favourite shot is. He said the fly kill, and we haven't seen any of those. So in his mind, he, he obviously views himself as an attacking type player, and there, he goes for an attacking shot right there, away. a low percentage shot. He is trying to force it now, he's 10 points behind. 18 says it. Some of these shots haven't been going off, coming off from the way that we're in the semi final against Josh Cavanagh, but a long way to go. Point. McGinty at 18 8, just 19 8 now, just looking comfortable. It's starting to serve eight. very well. You can see the spin he's put on these serves. There's another hopping into the corner. Oh, lovely shot by Rogers. Lovely flick of the wrist. Drops in the right corner. Right. That'll do his confidence. No harm, Gavin. No. But I think the first game is going to be on recall from now. He, he possibly. You know, in the middle of the game when you were saying he should have changed direction or the direction of his game. He it's a mark nine. Point. Or maybe it's a little bit too little too late. Nine nineteen. But you can sometimes see a player who gets a big lead and um, might 
or gets, gives an opponent the big deed. That's a fantastic shot there. As soon as a player gives his opponent the big deed, he mightn't co come back and win the game, but he'll come back and get enough momentum that he'll carry that into game two. And that's, Rogers just needs to keep going here. 19 says nine. Yeah, well, that's always important, you know, to try and work yourself back into the game. And if Marcus going to, oh, that's another mark. He's only after leaving himself with the luxury now of one game point to play for to try and make some inroads back on has been well on top in this game. He's been the more decisive and he's played with more conviction. He'll probably go for this as well. No, he'll gonna wait for a better opportunity. Maybe this is it. Oh, oh good shot from Mark. Oh, good rally. Wonderful shot by Rogers there, off balance. Just Nine a little flick 20. of the wrist. That's pure craft there with the left hand. Again, I could see him coming back here into this, not maybe into this first game, but I wouldn't say the contest has gone beyond them just yet. If he can just start to impose himself and go for more aggressive shots. Ginty is very, very comfortable in there. But to get him out of the comfort zone, make him think about it, make him work a little bit harder for points. Right away. Again, there's a, there's a lot of shots Marcus hitting where there's not a huge amount of purpose in them. He's just returning them and Owen is punishing them. Guys. 20, game ball, says nine. Yeah, I, see, I didn't, I, ah, good shot. Side out. He's going to take a time out. Maybe he's time just taking that little bit of time to, because it Last is. One. Maybe Owen is more noted for being a singles player than Mark and he's just taking that little bit of time to kind of find his, his rhythm. Now he has left it a little bit late in the first game, but I mean, if he could tack on a couple of aces, maybe get back to 13 or 14, or just to get himself up and running, to give himself a platform in the second game to kind of come out and maybe change direction, change his game plan, and okay, back in and see what happens. But Owen is extremely comfortable at the moment, without a huge amount being taken out of him. He's kind of plays, he, he has played his shots kind of comfortably and. Whatever kills he went for, he's got them, so. You know, but judging by the physical strength of Nine. Mark, he should be trying to able to, to impose himself on the game Nine that little bit more. 20. Yeah, and you don't become a inter-county hurler um, without having that competitive instinct. So he, he won't be the type, type of fella to be put, I don't imagine to be put off here, but McGinty looks very, very good. He's, I feel he's one of the, the best young players to emerge in the last 10 years. So he certainly has the potential to be, so. What, what most impresses me about him is his, his court savvy. Point. He generally plays the right shot. He's after making a hand there, Ten, right now, but he, he does generally play, make the right shot, which is sort of belies his age. But it's interesting that Rogers has gone there for a, a Z serve, as the Americans call it. Chance for Mark. Side away. He's got to be taking those opportunities if he's going to claw this back. Game balls is ten. Could we see an A serve here from McGinty? He, he'll try and hop this one. Free serve. Good call by the referee. On just linger a second too long there. He gets back in the service box. Okay, 20 serves, 10. Another chance to serve for the, for the first game. Oh, lovely hop, and that's given him a setup. Will he pass down the left? Down the right. Didn't really go for it either. Here's McGinnity. Takes the power off it. Again, Rogers gets him All out. Right. So that's what we're talking about, Gavin. He's He's not going away. It's thing, it isn't going his way, but he he, he is fighting Ten, hard in there. 20. Yeah, Owen had a big setup off the back. He'd be disappointed with himself that he he didn't take that. He didn't avail of the opportunity. Then he plays a more difficult shot off the back wall, and he 20, 10. he takes Mark back out again. Hinder ball, we're going to go again on that one. Check the ball. Make this, this could be serve number 20, five, 10. Yeah. That's, That's the first game. game. He looked very comfortable on one, but I, 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 it yeah. possibly wasn't a true hey, reflection of Mark Rogers' ability. Two minutes, lads. Uh, I don't think. I mean, he looks he looks like a yeah. player who should so have a lot more in the tank. <laughs> So we'll have to oh, no, no. kind of look forward to the second game and maybe a 
different story to it. Okay, bear with us, folks. We're hopefully, we get these sound problems sorted out, and we'll be we'll be back with you just after the for the time for the start of the second game. For all your handball needs, it's as easy as A, B, C. Accessories, balls, clothing. Visit gahandball.ie today. to get our transition year students to build their own one walls. So they began building two walls and since that it's grown in popularity. I think I began with about four students playing, now there are about 70 kids playing here every lunchtime. If we're going to open up the hall every day at lunchtime, the kids will be down there every day so it's been taken off massively and that's why we've took the girls to the competition today. It's popular with the girls as well as the boys in the school. From our point of view, there was a real push between myself, I guess, as a promoter of the sport independently, but also with the PE department. So with PE now being announced as a, a leave insert subject, it's only going to grow in stature. We have hundreds of schools across the country playing um, handball, and I have more and more schools contacting me um, each week looking to get, get started. You go to the, the schools at break time uh, and lunch time, and you see the children lining up playing handball, so um, it's a good way of telling me to, to keep children occupied. But the overall initiative of the schools on one wall is to get more children playing at the handball clubs. So the opening, the opening point of the first of the second game, even to Mark Rogers. One play zero. Everything seems to have been going according to script. So far. Two zero. More of attacking game. and see Leon Hinge on the or at least take the fight over the game. Point. Three zero. So we'll just have to 
Just check the ball on. Bear with us. Having some technical Three, issues. Zero. Here. You can't hear us. It's not particularly our fault, but um, it's three zero on the open stage to the second game of the mark. <laughs> This game. 4 0. Well, he has attacked his second and third shots with a little bit more conviction. Now, two bands. Good lad, yeah. Try to win. Zero, so it's four. Telltale sign because if you know if one goes straight back in, Short. he gets one, two, three, four. It kind of Second serve. It's kind of under pressure automatically in the game. Whereas if he can just hold him up there, maybe you know, proceeding in this, and maybe get another game. So he should be able to give that a little bit of a platform to go ahead. There's four. Serves one. Seven. Point. Two says seven. Side 
seven says four. Say that. Four, seven. Seven, so it's four. Seven, four. Point. Eight, so it's four. says four. Point. Ten says four. Time out called. 11 4. Serves four. Serves 
Say that. 11-4. Point. So it's 14. Seven says fourteen. Fourteen, so seven. Seven fourteen. Just changing. Yeah, 
Royal has a 10 3 lead on the Heffernan, so things not going according to plan for Claire Galway. Lads, back in, please. Okay, 14, serving 7. Sixteen, so seven. Seventeen, so seven. Seven. Seven serves eighteen. You felt that if he had a player with a little bit more conviction. Reserve. Check the ball, Mark. Seven serves eighteen. Seven. Nineteen, so seven. For that, the cup. Side of it. Seven, so nineteen. Short. So, I'm overruling myself. Two serves, okay? Two serves. 
Wrong call. 7-19. I think you know as well, Thomas, when you... Point. Eight, so there's 19. What's wrong, Mark? I dry it? Yeah, fair enough. Point, time out called. 13, 19. Okay. I want to serve. 13. Foot 
that a little bit. Was the first time he tried. Game ball 20, serving 14. Reserve. Twenty says so fourteen. Twenty. Short. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Second serve. Says fourteen. transition year students to build their own one walls. So they began building two walls and since that it's grown in popularity. I think I began with about four students playing, now there are about 70 kids playing here every lunchtime. If we're going to open up the hall every day at lunchtime, the kids will be down there every day so it's been taken off massively and that's why we've took the girls to the competition today. It's popular with the girls as well as the boys in the school. From our point of view, there was a real push between myself, I guess, as a promoter of the sport independently, but also with the PE department. So with PE now being announced as a, a leave insert subject, it's only going to grow in stature. We have hundreds of schools across the country playing um, handball, and I have more and more schools contacting me um, each week looking to get, get started. You go to the, the schools at break time uh, and lunch time, and you see the children lining up playing handball, so um, it's a good way of telling to, to keep children occupied. But the overall initiative of the school to one, one wall is to get more children playing at the handball clubs. to get our transition year students to build their own one walls. So they began building two walls and since that it's grown in popularity. I think I began with about four students playing, now there are about 70 kids playing here every lunchtime. If we're going to open up the hall every day at lunchtime, the kids will be down there every day so it's been taken off massively and that's why we've took the girls to the competition today. It's popular with the girls as well as the boys in the school. From our point of view, there was a real push between myself, I guess, as a promoter of the sport independently, but also with the PE department. So with PE now being announced as a, a leave insert subject, it's only going to grow in stature. 
with hundreds of skills across the country playing um, handball and I have more and more skills contacting me um, each week to help me get, get started. You go to the, the schools at break time uh, and lunch time and you see the children lining up playing handball so um, it's a good way of telling me to, to keep children occupied. But the overall initiative of the schools on one wall is to get more children playing at the handball clubs. Okay. Shh. Third game. Man and to serve first. Zero zero. Try that there, Jack, will you? Please, yeah, fair enough. Mark. Mark. Can't yeah, hear me. You must be alright. If you wanted to stop, you would. One serve zero. Short. Sure, agree. One agrees anyway. Short ball. Second serve. Zero. Point. Three zero. Foot fault. Whoa. 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 The second serve. Owen, oh, it was a foot that I called originally. Se yeah, second serve, front line. It's a while to get them stopped. Green. Two serves. <laughs> Side out. Zero. 
zero four. Side out. Four zero. Three serve. Four zero. Side away. Zero. So it's four. Point. One four. Three serve. One four. serves two. Point. Five serves two. Side away. This is green, is it? <laughs> Two serves five. Serves five. Five serves three. Short. Second serve. Six serves three. Point. 
point. Seven, so three. Time I called. Eight three. Just hard when that noise starts, isn't it? Like must... Time in. Eight serves three. Screen. Two serves. Point. Nine serves three. Point. Ten serves three. Three serves ten. Oh. Side of it. <coughs> ten serves three. serves 10. Point. Four, 10. <laughs> yes. He hurt himself again. Side away. Yeah, okay, hold on. We're going to stop, stop it for a few minutes, all right? On ahead. Ten four. Who's doing, who's doing thingy up there? What? It's ten four, not ten five. Oh. 
Nee, höhle. Sorry, dat. Sorry, dat. Is dat dat, man? What do you think, Mark? How is it? Swollen. Did anybody get ice or that? Or do you want... I, I have the clocks. I've started like you're 50, up to 15 minutes. You know yourself. I did start as soon as you came out of the course. Okay. Um, I suppose I, there's a fridge in the kitchen, is that? I, I'll, I'll go get one. But yeah. get it's up to himself. But you know, sometimes you, you might want to stop for 15 minutes. It might do more harm than good. But... Do you, have you an ice pack? Or... Well, you the yeah. There, yeah, please. I'd be telling him to stop. Do you know what that's the so. <laughs> Give him a nice back if you, if you can make the call. Yeah, thank you. He's going to get an ice pack for you there, alright? Brendan, can you give me that pack, please? Which? The ice pack. Cool pack. Thank you. There you got one. Thank you. Go on. It's only one side. You got one. Yeah. Alright, I'll throw that one back. I bet your one's probably better at fresh. Huh? Oh, he landed on his head. Oh, he, there's another one out there already. He landed on the same part of his elbow twice. His elbow's swollen from landing on it twice, so he's icing it there. He's up to 15 minutes. I stopped it, so he's five take, and it's up to him. All right, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I started like as soon as he came out, so there's four gone so far. One more. Wow. Okay, resume and play. Shh, Monaghan to serve. It's 10 serves, 4. Four serves, 10. It's not the scoreboard was wrong when the match was stopped. It was four. No, the scoreboard was wrong when you were out. It's 
five, serves ten. Race right serve. Just check the ball, Mark. Five, ten. Eleven serves five. <coughs> Foot fault. If somebody put on the fan there. Jack, Jack. Put on the fan up to about two because it's sticky. Point. Twelve, five. Point. Thirteen, five. Oh, it was down, 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 down. Side out. Ball was down. Five serves thirteen. Right away. Thirteen, five. Point. Fourteen, five. Time out called, 15-5. It's your second one, Mark. Five seconds. Time in. Okay. Fifteen, seven, five. Fifteen. Side away. Fifteen, five. Short. Second serve.
Free serve. Fifteen five. Point. <coughs> Sixteen. Says five. Short. Right away. Five, so sixteen. Point. Six, sixteen. Point seven sixteen. Good lad, good call. Point. Okay, dry it, please, yeah. Thanks. Eight serve sixteen. Point. Nine, sixteen. Point. Time out called Monaghan, ten, sixteen. Some phenomenal gets and then a lot of paddling and they're missing easy stuff and getting phenomenal stuff. Some serious, yeah. serious gets. Yeah. All right, lads, back in. Up Calvin. <laughs> there was no money in it. There was no money in it that, that night. Okay, time in. 10, serve 16. Sixteen, so it's ten. Oh, yeah. Ten, sixteen.
eleven sixteen. Need to be dry though and no. <laughs> Twelve serves sixteen. Thirteen, so sixteen. Good lad, good call. <laughs> Sixteen, so it's thirteen. Yes. Point. Oh. Seventeen, so it's thirteen. Point 18. Time out. Yeah. It's your last one, Mark. All right. At 18, 13. Keep the roar in the fourth over. Yeah. I think this is okay. Yeah, two good shots. Monaghan serving. 18, 13. <laughs> you, served. you had enough time, Owen. You, you had enough time afterwards. You took your shot. Come on, Let's go. 13, 18. Eighteen says thirteen. Take your time, take your time. Swipe the floor there, Jack, please. Okay, it's a point. It was 19, so it's 13. Point. 
20, game balls is 13. presentation this evening is the uh, boys minor final. First of all, we have a runner-up this afternoon, Mr. Mark Rogers.